Yes, hi guys. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can emboss the boss uh, text onto an object. Um, there's actually two main ways you can do it. I'll start with the more advanced way uh, using 3D Sketch. I'm going to go to any view I want to draw on, and I'm going to go to my text, and I'll type in the text over here. I've typed in self-cat, and I'm going to switch actually to object that I want to directly type onto the object so I can kind of like position my text over here and that creates the profile you see over here text and then I select this as well I select both I can actually close this already and then I go to in modify there's an option cut with profile and this basically cuts this out this profile so now I can actually delete already the profile so let's see I'm going to go to this one I'm going to simply click delete and confirm so it's deleted so now if I select this I'll go to face mode, um, actually I'm going to go to polygon mode. In polygon mode, I'll go over here as an option part selection, which allows me to select different parts that we just created. See, I can select the inner part and so on. So I can select which part I have created. And I'm going to select these. You can see it's selected. And now once it's selected, I'm going to go to modify an extrusion and I'm going to extrude that, you see if I can extrude that out, let's say number five, you see that sticks out. If I do it, let's say negative five, uh, this will kind of go um, visual inside. You see this goes basically inside and this is engraved. This is the most simplest way. Um, the downside of this is actually a very easy way of doing it. Um, you can actually wrap text around something else. So for example, if you're gonna go over here something that is around it and now we're going to go to 3d sketch the same idea and i'm going to draw a text um, you could do something like this and this actually will wrap around the object if i close it let's see if you can see it this actually projected you can see it's it's nicely rounded and you can do very nice uh, the problem that i want to warn at the time that i'm recording this video today uh, we do have some issues cutting. So if you're going to try to cut with profile something that is, you see over here, it's rounded, something that it's wrapped around something, uh, you may have some issues. The cutting is working only in basic cases. Some example, uh, advanced case is not working yet. On the next update, which is expected in the next two weeks probably, uh, this should be fixed. Um, so yeah, but for now, this is a little bit limited on, on more advanced shapes. Um, that's one thing. The second thing is that we still have some we don't really have an, an drawing text uh, positioning very easy to position. So if you think of the here, we have all of these measurements over here, any of the shapes. If you go to text, those are missing. So in the next update, those will be updated as well. So you'll have a very easy way of positioning text. But just to show you again that that actually can wrap um, quite longer. Things will be easier to visualize that it's wrapped. So if you see over here, this is very nicely wrapped around, as you can see. So this is in the future. This is a very good update for basic cases already working. But for now, let me show you another way, which is probably the way it works in Mesh Mixer and other places, which I'm not fully aware, but uh, I, th I think that's how it works. So I'm going to create a text as an object. So I go to my freehand drawing, where my option is the same idea. I go to text, and I have my softcat or any other text. Over here, you have an option, um, height settings. I can set the height of a text. So the default is 20, so you can change it. And I'm going to draw my text, let's say, something like this. And um, again, we'll, we'll add more precision to the finalizing. But once I do it, something like this, you see you have the text. So I'm going to rotate this. I need to rotate this around the X negative 90 degree. So, oh, I'm sorry, I'm supposed to do it. Okay, it's so now 180 degree. So now you get the text correct. So let's see now what I do. How do I embed this in the example with the cylinder, rounded shape? So if I do this, first of all, let's position this uh, um, correctly. So if I go over here, position, I mean, I can manually move it up, but just to show you there's a way to position, you go to the Align tool, and on the Align tool, you have an option. I choose the option. You can rename it if you have a lot of options to know what you're actually doing. And you choose, you can see over here, if I zoom out, um, we have to see where we are. So this is the front view over here. So I can choose it's in the middle. I want it to be in the middle. You still don't see it because it's embedded. And I want it to be in the front. So this actually gives you this shape over here, positions it correctly. Now what I'm going to do, I'm going to scale this in. So I'm going to go to scale and simply scale in this object that it's going in. Um, this wouldn't be that nice because it's sticking out. So obviously you can play with the 
thinks that I, I can just, um, let's just resize it so it will look nicer. Key proportion, I'll resize this, let's say, to 15. Um, I'm not working with exact sizes, so obviously understand. And now I can do this, obviously I can play with exact numbers, how much it should be, but let me show you an example. So first of all, I take these two, and the first option obviously is stitch and scoop, and you can play with exact precision, how thick this is, you can play with the height and position them. It takes a little more than the first approach, but the simple union is combining them, that's combined, you finalize, you get it combined. If you do this, is a very inter inter interesting part, your intersection, it kind of gives you everything that is intersecting. So because it was intersecting around that way, it rounds it, but it gives you this entire depth, which is, you know, sometimes it's good. You can take, for example, this, if you make first a copy of the cylinder, you can then attach it back to the cylinder and uh, then do a union. Um, if you want to have it something rounded, you can actually also um, cut out pieces. So the other way is you do the difference. So kind of if you go over here different, you cut out the text, you get the hole over here, which is actually already rounded. So if you want to cut a hole, that's a good way of doing it. But if you want to keep something like this, this is actually quite interesting. But if you want to keep it actually just with an exact thickness, there's an idea for that as well. So in this way, if you want to keep it rounded, you kind of will then take the cube separately and maybe do a union on it. So, you know, you can play around. Um, the other idea would be, so let me show you the other idea. So I'm going to take basically select this shape and I'm going to add some thickness to it. So I can add thickness based on how thick I want this to be. So let's say I want this to be a thickness of five. So we're going to add, let's preview this. I'm adding a thickness, a thickness of five. And now I'm going to do the same thing that I did before. It will give me just a thickness of five um, because it works based on volume. And now this is the volume. So now you get over here, here you go. This is a thickness of five and you got this. So if you finalize this, but again, the same idea as I said before, where you can kind of position it later, you take another, cylinder and you kind of position it again and then you kind of can do a union and it's already rounded so you do have a few ways of doing it um, i like better the first approach um, but as i said there's some limitations but that will be improved but for now this is also a very powerful option so and this is basically the idea where you take this and this and then you can do kind of a union so you have them connected in this case if you want it to be sticking out but if you want to engrave as you saw before that's that's already available with the difference so yeah, that's basically it. I hope it was helpful. Uh, thank you for watching and let me know if you need me uh, to do any other tutorials. Have a great day.